this country is what I discuss as a result of uh, global climate change. The lack of water, Your Excellency, has meant that our indicators in those many counties, uh, whether health, uh, health matters, whether education, uh, whether um, food security, has been impacted negatively over the years. Um, and therefore, us as the governors from that region, uh, or those counties of Kenya, uh, we are indeed, um, uh, um, you know, are concerned that we do have a lot of potential, uh, including us, despite losing a large number of livestock, we still uh, uh, call it Kenya's beef basket. We still have a huge uh, potential in tourism. We still have huge uh, potential in minerals. And, um, and for that matter, we do have large tracts of land with huge potential for dry land farming. And therefore, Your Excellency, us as governors from the region, um, it is our intention indeed, and um, our uh, decided um, um, ideas that we can change this narrative of continuous um, uh, emergency responses and move to um, uh, resilient solutions. Of course, uh, we appreciate the extent of support we have continuously got, gotten from the Kenya government and also from the donor agencies uh, in terms of uh, short-term interventions. But I think, Your Excellency, um, we have decided that we can move and change the narrative, and that is by water harvesting. Our story, therefore, Your Excellency, is water, water, and water, and therefore, um, uh, water harvesting, uh, particularly in line with your uh, manifesto uh, and also in line with the, uh, the, the dams uh, that you have suggested in our counties are coming in very handy at a time like this uh, so that we can quickly move into dry land farming as was done in many other parts of the, of the, of the world where also countries have been suffering from deserts and from lack of rains. That has been proven and we believe we can do it also in our Asal counties um, if only we get the necessary support for harvesting water.